Hello Skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another Chatting Skeletons episode. So this episode is called, My Teeth Have Been a Long-Hated Adventure. Now, what's wrong with teeth, right? Everyone has different types of teeth and how their teeth grow, how they adjust, blah, blah, blah. Well, my teeth, unfortunately, have been a long-hated adventure. And it all started when I was born. <laughs> I actually didn't get my first tooth until I was a year, over a year old. And my parents weren't exactly surprised this had happened because my dad had late teeth, but my mom had early teeth. So it was kind of a toss up of whose teeth I would get. I got my dad's. So I didn't get my first tooth until after I was a year old. And then as I, I didn't get, even get my first loose tooth until I was like in second grade, first, second grade. I had loose teeth for years and there was one at one point I didn't even want to pull out my loose teeth. I had loose teeth in my mouth for like over two years, three years until I hit the age of 14. And my mom was like, that's it. We're going to the dentist. You're getting those teeth pulled. And I said, okay, I had eight loose teeth at the time, mind you. So I got all my teeth pulled in 15 minutes surgery, went home and my mouth healed up beautifully. I had swollen gums at the time. And that's actually when my gingivitis started. So I had my gum swelling went down dramatically once my teeth were pulled. And then the next adventure was going to be braces, which didn't happen until my sophomore year. And those were on me until my freshman year of college. During the time of those braces, I had, I first got the bottom ones that, no, I first got the top ones. Then I got the bottom ones. Then they put the wire in. And this is all within like, a one month period, mind you. So each month I had to go back. And then after all the wires got put in, I changed out the bands monthly. I ended up getting an expander, which expanded my jaw. And that was on me for nine months. Um, I ended up getting a gold chain to pull one of my canines down, which required separate surgery because I had to get two molars removed in order to make room for this goddamn canine. And not only that, but I had to get a tissue graft done because I had a receding gum line that would have rotted my, my roof. And that had to get redone because the little slit that connects your, your lip to your jaw was pulling it. So I had to get it snipped, which I have a smaller one now than most people do. Um, anyway, I got a gold chain to pull the canine down, got that removed. I've had coils, which were to pull my teeth together a little better. I've had rubber bands which were are supposed which was supposed to turn my underbite into not an overbite but just correct the underbite and then after all that I finally get my braces removed and now the doctors are trying to tackle my gingivitis which they had to tackle before I got the braces because if I got the braces on and my gingivitis got worse then I could end up losing teeth because you're not brushing certain parts of your teeth because the braces are covering them and mind you, I never went to a single dentist appointment while I had my braces. It was always my orthodontist. There were multiple attempts to reduce my, my gum disease, my gingivitis, and nothing worked. I tried pills, mouthwashes, flossing, you know, whatever. I tried everything. Finally, while I was at work one day, I felt my bottom canines hurting a lot, and it felt like they were coming loose. So I had made an appointment with my dentist and I said, hey, I'm pretty sure I have loose canines. And they said, well, let's take a look. While they looked, turns out they weren't loose, but my gums had gotten worse. Um, we have in my dentist's office, I don't know if you guys have a two, a chart, which is a scale of one to 10, 10 being the absolute, well, nine plus, but we'll say 10, 10 being the absolute worst that your gums can be, one being the absolute best. I was between a four to a six. Six was getting into the red zone. Four was like borderline yellow green and five was right in the yellow. They said, we need to do a deep clean and possibly get you on another treatment. I said, doc, I've been on so many treatments. I'm tired of playing a guessing game. I want something that works. They said, well, we just got this this thing called Perio Protect, which is still new. You know, it's it's been confirmed it's been you know through the process and everything's good we've just been trying it out on our patients I said I'd love to give it a shot and they said okay we'll come back for a deep clean and then we'll get you on it I said sounds good 
So I made the appointment for the deep clean. And I did not know what a deep clean was until I got there. Turns out a deep clean is when they take this needle, like this drill, drill below your gums to get rid of plaque. And it doesn't feel pleasant. They had to numb me with a freaking needle first. And they didn't even numb my whole mouth. They just numbed the front of it in certain places. So when they started scraping the back of it, I'm like, ow, ow, ow. And then they got to one tooth and it just felt like absolute pain. So finally, deep cleans over. And they had me make an appointment for um, another, like a follow-up cleaning. So I ended up taking the Perio gel home. I used it twice a day and my gums started getting better and better and better. Came back for the follow-up. Well, I came back to get another tube of gel because I used it up so quickly and they checked my teeth and everything was actually going pretty well. It had reduced to threes and fours, which was fantastic. So I go back to get the regular cleaning done, which they called an intermediate cleaning, which is a like kind of like a deep clean, but it's not a deep clean. It's, it's so much more laxed than it. And honestly, I was fine by the end of it. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was just mostly flossing. That's it. <laughs> so I got that done, got my teeth checked. And they said the gel was working great, that they were seeing great results. And that, you know, just to keep using the gel twice a day to get the gums to recede more and more. Well, to heal more and more. Problem is, I haven't been using it lately, and I know that's that's horrible, and I should be using it. Um, the plus side about this, too, about the Perio Gel, is that it's actually a teeth whitener, too, because of the gel, which is fantastic. I love having white teeth, but, you know, I also have my retainer, which I probably should have mentioned earlier. I have a retainer, and I've been wearing it every night since I've gotten my braces off, and ever since they told me, oh, you don't have to wear your retainer daily now. And I still have been bad with that. There are nights I don't wear my retainer, which I really should be. And I can feel it. I can feel my teeth shifting. And it's just horrible. And I know I'm going to have to wear my retainer the rest of my life. And good God. I, I, I know my kids are going to get bad teeth too. Because I don't just have bad teeth. Hubby has bad teeth. So I know I'm going to have to prepare for braces and surgeries and shit like that. And my kids are going to hate me. But in the long run, their teeth are going to look just as good as their moms, not their dads, their moms, because <laughs> dad needs to work on his teeth again. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Battle skeletons, stay safe. Love you guys.